Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I'm an awful garbage, filthy, disgusting mouth. So viewer discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no fail, but I'll remember our time fondly. Hi kids. So I forgot to film an intro and I, <laughs> and I started exporting my footage and I realized I never said hi. So hi. Uh, in today's video, it's a try on of sorts. However, it's all about second chances because I initially did this video and I was in a mood. Okay, like a mood. And when I was recording it, it was during a really just horrible patch of construction that made the audio just unusable. And then when it finally kind of died down, I was so mad <laughs> that every other word out of my mouth was f And I know that sounds hilarious. And it kind of was. And then watching a little bit of it, I was like, oh, I don't think that's legal in at least six states. So I had to like calm it back, just calm it back a little bit. And I was like, you know what? Let's chalk it up to um, misconnection of sorts. And let's try this again. So in today's video, I tried some products that I really did not like uh, when initially trying, maybe with the exception of like one or two that I was like, okay, I could with you. Majority of these products I did not love. So keep watching to see if my thoughts have changed. So in today's video we're going to be talking about the new CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence Foundation. That is a mouthful. The e.l.f. Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener. We have some fat oils from NYX as well as the Pro Fix Skin. Nope, what am I saying? Pro, what? Pro Fix Sticks. I have a concealer and a color corrector. And then of course, this is something that I didn't try in the initial video, but um, I just wanted to throw a little something on the rest of my face instead of looking like a giant potato. So we're also gonna be talking about the Smashbox Halo. So this is more of a first impression while everything else is just a, a redo. So anyway, um, I'm gonna say that this video is unhinged more so than usual. I had a very long day. <laughs> I'm filming it after work. So I'm on a, I'm on a 10. All right. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're watching. And I, I mean, listen, it's just me. I love my energy. So <laughs> anyway, enjoy. Hello. We're going to try this again because the first time, <laughs> no, this is the third time actually. The third time. Whew, all right. But the first time it was bad. It was bad. Like the audio was really up because of the construction and I was just getting so mad. Oh, I was getting so mad and then the foundation was not working out and then I did it again. <sighs> I wish I saved the footage now thinking about it. I deleted it though. I, it would have been unusable footage because <laughs> it would have just been one long bleep. I was like this shit. It was really bad. So, <laughs> so uh, let's hope that you know what? Maybe I was having a bad day because I was having a bad day that day. So let's <laughs> let's hope that today is a good day, all right? So I'm going to try again because I really love the CoverGirl Simply Ageless line. And it breaks my heart that it's not working out the way that I want it to. So we're going to hope for the best. Okay, so because this has water in it, right, I'm going to use a little bit of Etude, the Glow On Hydra Base Doohickey. We're just going to... Just juice up, juice up the skin. <laughs> you know, juice up the skin. That's, I don't know why that sounds kind of gross, but mm, juice it up, right? Anyway, I even put a little extra on just because my skin needs it. It's a little dry today. The meat locker, <laughs> that is my home. It's a little cold today. In addition to that, I'm gonna take it one step further. No, I'm not. I lied. <laughs> Did I pack that away? I packed it away. Okay, so <laughs> I would probably put on a little bit of the Isamaya ring primer just to give myself a little bit more of a glow, but we're not going to do that. So instead, what I am going to do is I'm going to use this product first. I'm going to use a little bit of it. This is from NYX. This is the Pro Fix Stick Color Corrector Concealer Doohickey. I am going to put a little, a little bit on because the last time I did this, it freaked the f*** out. <laughs> I did not like it. So we're just gonna put a little bit on, just in the areas where I just have a little bit more redness. Just a little bit. Uh, I think this is a really good product though. I have been using it for a little bit with other stuff and I feel like it does a really kind of good job at reducing my redness and making me not look like a green army man. <laughs> 
so we love that for me uh but i think i want to do that and then like over here i have a little bit on as you can see just actually i'm just gonna put a little bit on over here i'm playing with fire right now i know i am ah okay but i can't help it <laughs> I'm also filming this after work, so I am I'm feeling alive, baby. <laughs> feeling, I don't make no sense, and I'm feeling alive. Okay, so I need a brush. Let's get a brush. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna try this again. We're gonna, we're gonna be hopeful this time. We're gonna be hopeful this time. Clean my brush to the best of its ability, and this is where everything goes wrong. <laughs> so I'm gonna shake this up, jerk it off just a little bit, just the tip. Okay, and then I'm going to put in the back of my hand. I put three pumps. Okay, it looks gross. It looks really gross oh God. okay 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 i need to close my mouth <laughs> I'm like, oh god okay 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 no 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 okay 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 <laughs> so the reason why well besides the fact that this is simply ageless line the thing that really just uh, made me excited to want to try this is that I recently fell in love with the Rose Ink foundation. It's wild. I mean, it's not the most expensive foundation I own, but it's definitely high in price. Because I love drugstore foundations so much, like so much, so much, so much, I am just really hopeful that this is going to be a really good dupe for that product. Also, I, I noticed people were saying that this could potentially be a dupe for, see how it just doesn't stick there? Could be a dupe for the Chanel one, right? So that really kind of piqued my interest even more because I, you know, I like Chanel. Not all their products, but you know, a fair amount of products I have enjoyed. And I just want this mother to work. That's it, that's it. So I'm actually just taking the excess that I have on the back of my hand and then using a sponge. I will say today is so much better than when I initially put it on. Because when I initially put this on, this was, it was up. It was up. <laughs> and my biggest complaint, which is actually what it's kind of currently doing on this side of the face right here, just here, nowhere else, just here, it doesn't want to stick. And I don't know why that is. It's so infuriating. Because you're like, you can go here, you can go here, but why the don't you wanna go here? Like, why? What am I doing wrong? That's what I don't get. So, I'm going to do a little more. I'm gonna mix it with the little brushy brush. Now I notice when I kind of put it on with a brush, see how it like takes up everything? Even as I like kind of massage it into the skin, it's just red. What the f See, it just doesn't, it's just like, nope, nope, we don't like whatever the f this is. Stop trying to make this happen. We're gonna eat it. <laughs> So I don't know what's going on with this. So I'm gonna take a little bit from the sponge and I'm gonna try to press it in to my skin to see if that works. No, it's like, it's, what is this? <laughs> I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you, cover girl. The bro. I'm gonna try one more time, okay? I'm gonna do two little spit takes here. And we're just gonna massage it into the skin. And I, I'm like really just lathering it up here. Okay, lather, lather, lather. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this and we're gonna just deal with it. <laughs> now I'm just threatening the foundation, okay? No, 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 no. Okay, all right, so, hmm, okay. <laughs> I it does. It's so not fair. <laughs> it's so, <laughs> it's not fair. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Gaslighting me. What the? F How do you look okay everywhere else, but like right here, you're like no, absolutely not. No. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. <sighs> We're gonna stop there. All right. Next thing I want to use, which is a product that I, I liked. I didn't mind. Uh, this is gonna be the third time I use it. I'm hoping that I still like it. And I'm going to use, all right, I can't find my concealer that I've been using, so we're just gonna use this one. Okay, so this is from Pro Concealer Sephora 57. I really like this little guy. So this is the Putty Color Correcting Eye Brightener. This, I would say, is kind of comparable to NARS. And by NARS, I mean this guy. This is the light reflecting brightener. It's comparable, except the biggest difference between this one is, this one is has so much 
like just juice. Again, what is this juice thing? Opacity. <laughs> and it's also on the yellow side. So here's the two swatches. The bottom one is the NARS, the top one is e.l.f. It doesn't come close. So that's my only beef with it. If you want it to look like the NARS, you're gonna have to use a good amount of product, right? But I think what makes the e.l.f. one special is if you are using it for say, I don't know, like lighter coverage options, like a skin tint, this is nice. So I'm going to kind of throw this here and then I'm going to take this <laughs> and I'm gonna cover this whole red area with this. Now, is it the best under eye brightener? No, I don't think so. I think I can achieve more of a brightening moment uh, with say like a really light concealer, but I think it does a nice job of color correcting. So it's like, well, it's not like the most brightening thing. I think it definitely dulls down the dark circles that I have because I haven't slept probably since I was born. <laughs> I'm lucky to get like, I don't know, six hours of sleep a night. So we're also gonna do the eyelid. I don't even know why I just did that. I think I just wanted to because it just looks gross, my eyelid. I don't even feel like doing eyeshadow today. So we're just gonna do like a little, like something light. Now that I have that down, I'm just gonna go over it with a sponge and see like, it's cute. She's cute. And did a pretty good job kind of removing some of that redness, but it's still pretty prevalent, which, <sighs> Love that for me. So the next thing I want to use is uh, also from NYX. This is another Pro Fix stick, except I have it in the shade Fair. And I really, really, really enjoy this. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the Bobbi Brown uh, skin concealer. This guy, except maybe um, not as hydrating. But as someone who has dry skin, that's usually a problem. This is not a problem. I don't mind it because it's not completely insufferable matte where I'm just like, Ugh, like, why did I do this? Why did I choose this? Like, no, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna use this one uh, from BK Beauty. This is the Nikki LaRose N16, which I actually think you can buy this brush separately now, which is awesome. This is probably one of my favorite brushes from BK. It's such a good concealer brush. Honestly, between this and the Singe one, I have been really just enjoying the hell out of them. I like the Singe one because of the shape of it, but I love the bristles of this one because it has more of like a stippling kind of a motion. And I never thought to use that for concealer. It looks good. So what I also want to do too, is I'm going to put, <laughs> we're going to put a little, by a little I mean a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna see if we can, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I needed. Okay, so much better. Oh, you little bitch, I love it. Okay, I'm just getting all little areas. I have some redness poking through. Now with the NYX concealer, I am going to set it with a little bit of powder just because I kind of feel like it does settle a little bit in my fine lines. Not by much, but it's enough for me to be annoyed about it. So we're just gonna do that and okay. Looking cute, looking good. And now what I wanna do is I'm going to set the rest of my face with powder um, because I wanna move on to this product, which I am super excited to try. I have not tried it. Everything else I'm gonna feature in today's video, I've tried and uh, it was a journey, uh, but this one is gonna be brand new for me. So we're going to uh, put that on the side. I'm gonna powder my face and then I'm gonna come right back. I am very spooky white. <laughs> Just <laughs> looking at myself. <laughs> What the f <laughs> Okay, we're going to, um... <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, this is, I look spooky. All right, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna... Does that look a little bit better? Not really, right? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I think I overdid it. <laughs> I think I overdid it. I look like a marshmallow with a mouth. Prove me wrong. <laughs> but, I can't even say it. <laughs> Bonus points for anyone who takes my face and then puts it on a marshmallow and then sends it to me on Instagram. I know at least six of you will do it, so I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the Smashbox Halo. Okay, Halo. I kind of forgot about Smashbox. I think we all collectively forgot about Smashbox, um, but Smashbox is back with these little Halo palettes and essentially you get one highlighter. Oh, I thought I was getting Champagne Pop. 
<laughs> okay, all right, sh okay. This is, okay, okay. I don't know why, why did I think I was getting champagne pop? Yeah. Anyway, so the highlighter in this is Rose Quartz, and then you have your contour powder shade called Designer, and then we have Haute Pink and Peachy Scene. So I think, I mean, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, no, we're gonna do bronzer first. What are you talking about? We know where to begin. But I saw this during Makeup Bingo, and I thought to myself, <laughs> Oh, you look good. Now granted, I always wanted the bigger palette that's usually on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and then my patrons shamed me for it, and they were like, what the f is wrong with you? So I didn't buy it. But you know what? I bought it today. And can I tell you, I'm super excited about this because I didn't spend any money on it. Nothing, not one sense it all came from a gift card and that is really it's warm also this brush is a little bit too big so we're gonna go in with uh this little one from singe beauty this is the f06 which is actually kind of perfect because it fits the pan shape because you can see how tiny it is right you can see how tiny okay not bad not bad i realize we're just gonna have to add a lot of it because <laughs> i look like a marshmallow i think i need to go back in with that big brush the small brush works but it's just like ugh, it's taking way too long you know what i mean i'd rather just jam this clam up in here jam this clam. that sounds disgusting but i'd rather just do this it's a little bit faster the cinch one works good it's just i want to be i don't know done today <laughs> i don't want to take three thousand years okay i mean i look sickly <laughs> You know, it was so funny too, because I was like, I'm gonna do this video again, it's gonna be fine. Because um, we're gonna try it again, and then instead I didn't realize I would sabotage myself by looking sick. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I just look really white today, and that's just throwing me off. <laughs> Could be it. All right, we're gonna go back to the singe, okay? Build that up right yonder. It's definitely on the lighter side for sure, but I don't know. Like, it's okay, I guess. Ugh. You know, maybe my patrons are on to something when they bully me. <laughs> They're really telling me, Teresa, this is garbage. Garbage. Don't buy it, okay? Maybe that's what they're saying. No, I know. They always look out for me. I appreciate my little bubbies. Okay, so... <laughs> we're gonna do this pink one over here. So we're gonna take hoped pink and we are just gonna f my face up with it. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hello. I like that. This is the kind of look that I would wear in a White Castle's drive through <laughs> And I don't mean that in a way. I mean that in a nice way. God, I miss White Castle. <laughs> Thankfully, there is a white castle here. And no matter what time of day you go, there's always a giant line. It's really weird. All right, this is kind of cute. This She kind of slays, all right? She kind of slays. I like this one. She's soft. She's like a working girl. But like not, <laughs> not in like a prostitute way. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. She's more of like a, um, like a temp. You know what I mean? Like she's click clacking on those keys. That's what I feel like with this. Click clacking on them keys. I like it. I go with it. She's soft. She's 80s. I feel like a working woman. Again, I don't know what the f that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'm a fan. I'm just gonna throw that pink right on my nose like a baby deer. I kind of look a little sick. Am I being cute? Is it COVID? I don't know. <laughs> is wrong with me? And I, you know what? I'm pretty sure it's just me laughing at my own jokes. But I'm hilarious, all right? Anyway, um, I like it. I'm all about this life. Now let's try the uh, peachy side on the other side. Let's see how that goes. Oh, oh ma'am. Oh ma'am. Okay, I like that. It's giving kind of Chef Rachel vibes. If you've seen that below deck season, Chef Rachel just had very, very strong orange blush. <laughs> and she is so pale, so that really stood out. That's what it's kind of giving me, except a little bit more refined, a little lighter. We're gonna give the Chef Rachel here. We are just going to build this up. Kind of love it though. She's cute. Kind of wish we can just get rid of the f the f um, the f bronzer. <laughs> By the way, I realized how many f that was. Sorry. Not sorry. I don't give whatever. Anyway, um, it is truly a gaba in my life, but I almost want to just get rid of that bronzer because that bronzer doesn't really do anything for me. But this though, this I like. It's also really funny because no matter how much I put on, it kind of looks exactly the same. So kind of love a consistent queen. This is good. So yeah, so far I'm liking the majority of the palette. I look cute. 
I look cute. I cannot leave my house because I look straight up like um, a sweet tart, but I'm okay with that. So we're gonna use the highlighter rose quartz. Make sure, oh, hello. Hello, lover. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, she is dainty. She is pretty. She is slutty. And this is why I will pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. This is why I'll pay attention to Smashbox because you brought that back at energy, bitch. It's funny that you can't bring it for your own products, but I'll take it. And for good measures, we're gonna do a little bit right here because we love a gl glowy moment. All right, there. Why do people? Why do people do this in the Cupid spell? Why? Why do we do that? I don't know why I'm also so obsessed with trying to bring back 2016. I don't really know. I think we should let it go probably, let it die. Okay, I realize I don't love that. <laughs> so we're gonna take that back. Yeah, you know, I still look kind of sick. <laughs> oh God, okay, all right, all right. This is what we're gonna do. This I wasn't a fan of, the fat oil slick stick. We're gonna try this one again. This is the no filter needed. Eh, eh, I don't know. Ugh, I don't know how I, ugh. You know what it is? It feels very wet and it grosses me out a little bit. It's like, think of wet mouth sounds. That's what it feels like when applying to my skin. I don't like it. Um, I also don't love the little sparkles in it. No, I hate it. You know what? Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe I'm being dramatic. Probably. Probably I'm being dramatic, but I wanna take this off because we're gonna try something else. I wanna try the bubblegum pink one. This is... DM me. A cigarette mom. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. That's what I look like I sound like. You know what I'm missing? A long Virginia Slim. <laughs> a Tom Collins and a Virginia Slim. Hello. Yeah, honey, what do you want? All right. <laughs> This is me in an alternate life if I was a truck stop waitress. You know what? I like it. I like it. This is fun and stupid. Okay, it's kind of really growing on me now. Like, it's really growing on me. I am becoming bunny. <laughs> turn me on, turn me loose. You can call me Peg for short. My name is now Tammy. Like, I look like a Tammy. You're gonna find me outside of a Waffle House. You looking at my husband? <laughs> with Tammy. Carries a fork with her at all times and she's ready to stab and eat. Okay, I like it. Let's talk about it. So this is the completed look. Maybe I'm getting a little bit of a Stockholm syndrome, but I don't mind this. I really don't. I was about to write this off. Huh. Turns out I was using the wrong formula. Okay. So let's start with the Simply Ageless. This is better the third time around. The first time was aggravating. The second time was infuriating. Today, much better. And it's funny because I don't think I really did anything differently, honestly. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But um, what was really infuriating was this part of my face that was like, nope, we don't want anything to do with that foundation. So that was really annoying, uh, <laughs> like very much so. And I think if I didn't have a high coverage concealer, it would just be a huge hole in my face. So I don't love this. I think out of all the Simply Ageless products I have ever tried, this is definitely the worst one. I don't recommend this. I, I don't know. I think the Rose Ink one ugh, could run laps around this product, honestly. And I've never even tried the Chanel one, but I imagine that one's 10 times better. I don't know. I just really had different expectations. I had higher hopes for this product. I mean, like, listen, it doesn't look terrible, but when I think about it, it's due to the fact that I put this all over my face and this is a beefy bitch. Like this has a lot of coverage. So I basically gave myself full coverage with powder. So I did myself a favor. <laughs> Now, when it was just on, before I put any powder on, it definitely dried down. There wasn't that much texture on my nose, just a little bit, but uh, better than most foundations, right? I didn't notice it kind of settling into fine lines, which is good. And I thought coverage overall was just okay. It's definitely on the lighter side. So you're really gonna have to pair it with a high coverage concealer if you have like any imperfections, like Harvey, for example, or just redness or whatever. I think the thing that just really, I don't know, irks the sh 
out of me about the foundation is just the inconsistency of it. I don't know, like I really wanted this to work. If you are willing to try it, I think the best thing you should do, put it on the back of your hand, use a brush and really just swirl, swirl, swirl until you start to see actual pigment and then start to slowly paint your face. But don't be surprised if it just does not want to lay down on a certain area of your face so you know kind of going with that expectation but I don't even think this is really worth checking out because I think it's like $21 if I'm not mistaken which is not super cheap you know considering drugstore it doesn't really feel like drugstore anymore sometimes it can be just as expensive as like a brand that you say you'd find in Sephora or whatever so I don't know I, I don't I don't think this is all that great but I'm happy that I tried it again because I was gonna decimate the out of it <laughs> Like it was bad. It was like one continuous beep. You would never understand what the f I was saying. <laughs> anyway, I don't like this. It At least it got upgraded from I immediately hate this product to more of like a, I don't think so, Tim. So I guess that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, not worth checking out. The NYX products. These are great. These are fantastic. They are lovely. They're everything you want them to be. This is a really great color corrector and this is a really great full coverage concealer. I also like the fact that they're $9 a piece. So it's just ugh, amazing. It doesn't break the bank and it actually feels like a proper drugstore product. Now these are definitely more on the matte side, but as someone who has very, very dry dehydrated mummy skin, I don't feel like it's so dry that I'm craving water water. I'm not doing any of that, so that's good. <laughs> but if you are someone that likes a lot of hydration, just kind of keep that in mind that you're really going to have to prep out of your skin so it doesn't look overly dry. I've been playing with these products for a little bit now, so I'm happy to say that it's more of like a soft matte, but I do notice a little bit of, um, I don't want to say cakiness because I don't think that's the right word, but we'll just say a little thick, like thick with two C's. If you do use um, a little bit more powder than you should, it can look a little bit more thick. So, so kind of keep that in mind that it's best to go in with a light layer. And please know that when you do go in with the light layer, you actually have a proper amount of coverage. So that's good. Highly recommend checking these out both the color corrector as well as the concealer the little elf guy i like the little elf guy he's cute like i said i feel like it's kind of comparable to nars with the exception that it's more on the lighter side so if you're looking for more coverage nars is definitely going to be checking all those boxes for you but if you don't mind having a lighter coverage but a more buildable coverage but again it still doesn't get to that like true opacity as the nars this is worth exploring and also i think it's like six or nine dollars which is so much cheaper than this product, right? That's the other thing. This is the lightest shade and it's definitely more pink toned, which I appreciate. While this is kind of more of a yellow tone that I don't really love, but still I do enjoy the product, but it's not my favorite tone ever. So I kind of really, I think I'm kind of like leaning towards this one, but I want to use it in a different way though. Meaning like I probably would pair this more with lighter coverage options. So think about like your skin tints or the one that comes to mind is like the Fenty Ease Stick. Like that with this product, I feel like is really, really good. Especially if you're looking for like lighter coverage makeup, you're going to just be running out the door and you just want something like kind of quickly to put on your face. This is going to be like really awesome because it provides like a decent amount of coverage it's not like the best most amazing full coverage thing but it covers enough where you don't feel uh, self-conscious so i don't know i like this i think this is actually kind of worth exploring and it's kind of funny because the putty uh family very hit or miss for me and i'm actually kind of surprised that i'm still liking this so yeah we love her okay the smashbox halo i don't know i don't know about this um you know okay Again, super happy, <laughs> super happy that I got this with a gift card because I think it had I spent my actual money on it. I don't think baby would be happy. I don't think so. I, <laughs> I don't think so. So this is a contour shade. I technically use it as a bronzer shade because as you know, you remember, I look like a giant egg or a marshmallow, whatever you think is funnier. And I was like, I need to bronze my skin up. It took a while. It's very light, very, very light. And it's definitely leaning more warm, which is not my favorite, but it's not like warm where it just makes me look like I've been sitting in a tanning bed all day back in 2009 so I guess that's good <laughs> but it just I don't know it didn't really wow me there wasn't anything like super spectacular about that particular contour product I like the blushes I think they're really nice they're definitely more of like a light wash of color and no matter how much I put on I don't think I could make them look like a garish clown which is kind of nice right but also kind of like I really just I want like a loud blush moment this is more of like a watercolor kind of a feel it kind of reminds me of like a busted Chantecaille in a way. I don't hate it, but I know I have better blushes in my collection that kind of gives me this watercolor feel that just, I don't know, moves my makeup. Uh, it just did not move my makeup. Not really. But what did move my makeup 
was this beautiful highlighter. I really like the highlighter. And I just think it's so pretty and so cute. And I love how sparkly and fun it is. It doesn't have any uh, sort of glitter bukkake, which is wonderful. And it's not like settling into my fine lines. Like she's good. She's slutty, she's wet. She's everything you want her to be. You know, she's gonna get you pregnant. You know what I mean? Like we love this. So I'm a fan of this. Actually, you know what? If I could just omit this part of the palette, I wouldn't be so mad about it. Because I could get away at least with the blushes. Like I could kind of over look some things you know but so when I look at this all together it takes like a B minus palette and brings it down to like a C minus almost bordering D plus and now C minus we'll say C minus like it's not bad it's not like the worst thing I've ever tried but it's nothing to write home about and I feel like that's kind of the overall theme of Smashbox like they exist <laughs> That's it, they exist, nothing else. They're just out there floating around. And I think they'll come out with a product every now and again that will spark my curiosity, like the Master of Horrors collection, which was like out of nowhere. That was awesome, the lipsticks. Although I wish they could have done more with that. Instead of just only doing like lipstick or like a liquid eyeshadow, I kind of wish that they, I don't know, did palettes or maybe like a face palette or something like that. I think that would have been cooler, but whatever. The fact that we even got that was really nice. But if they did not have Becca highlighter formula um, within their palettes, it's a wrap, baby. I don't know. I don't know if anybody would ever really talk about them. So I am, I don't know, I guess I'm like kind of, it's kind of like a sleepy thing. I don't know if I'll ever really pick up anything from Smashbox again. And I'm kind of happy that I didn't get the giant palette. Thank you, patrons. <laughs> Thank you so much. You saved me time and money and I appreciate it. But yeah, I don't know. I, I had higher expectations for this, but yeah, I wish I liked it more. Okay, so the last thing, the lipsticks. Um, bitch, okay, all right. First time I tried it, I was like, what the f is this? And then I tried it again and I was like, oh, I really don't like this again. But then I tried it another time and I was kind of like okay with it this time. So I have two different formulas with the fat oil. I have the shiny one, which has glitter particles in it. And then I have like a regular one, which doesn't have glitter particles in it. I lean more towards the non-glitter particle. Now, there is something to be said about the glitter ones. I do like the shine of it and I appreciate that it's not gritty or just or anything like that. However, I just, I don't know, like I, I wanted and expected more from this because the color is absolutely stunning and beautiful, but when you have it on your lips, it just looks incomplete. It looks like it's missing something. There's kind of like holes. I don't know, like it just looks kind of up. So I'm not a fan of that. Um, this is probably the best iteration today was probably the best iteration of it. And I don't think we could ever beat today. <laughs> There's no way. So um, I'm going to chalk this up as this is something that I wouldn't pick up this particular formula. So yeah, the glitter is not for me, but the non-glitter one, I kind of like this. It's stupid. It's stupid. I also really like this color. It is loud. It is loud. It's intense. It's intrusive. It's in your face, but I am just obsessed with it. And this nothing goes on my face, but I kind of love that even more. And I think it's because I haven't slept well <laughs> in days. And I think I'm just losing my mind. And I think that's why I like it. This just makes me feel one with society. <laughs> Oh my God, I just, you know, I was like a proud mom. Like, oh, my baby's going to college. <laughs> and really it's not a baby, it's like a pet lizard. <sighs> What lizards could be children too. Anyway, I like this. Um, I think this is a very beautiful formula. It's definitely more opaque than the shimmery one, which is kind of funny because I thought the shimmery one would just be like super opaque and that the pink one would be more on the thinner side, but nope, it's complete opposite. It's super comfortable. It doesn't bleed into the outer corners, unlike the shimmer one, which I felt like did bleed into the outer corners, which is kind of really weird. Don't know what that's about. This, I also feel like looks just, I don't know, really good. There's no holes in the formula. Everything looks super slick and super just put together. Again, I look insane, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> this is my bread and butter. So yeah, I like it. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm down to clown with this and I kind of want to get more of this formula. Initially, I was going to write this off and consider it a product, but no, it's just the initial formula I tried. The other one, so much better. So yeah, I'm glad I did this video again because there was just a lot of things that I was just not feeling and now I have different thoughts on. And even though the foundation, the thing that I was really excited to try, still didn't really make the grade for me. Today is the best version of it. And for that, 
I call it a win. So now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these products and if you like them, if you hate them, let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, the rides into my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, but disgusting, but really fun. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you and I love your adorable little delicious faces and I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed down below and I'll see you little cupcakes later. Bye!